Howard Brenton's an inspired choice to launch the Nuffield Southampton's new theatre space. His new play, The uh, Shadow Factory, is not only about the city in the Second World War, it's an epic drama that fills this large new space. Virtually the only elements of a fantastic set designed by 59 Productions are tubular lights above that bend and move to recreate brilliantly the sense of planes overhead, uh, and maps projected on the floor of the thrust stage to show not only the scene locations, but the targets of German bombs. One such target is the main factory producing Spitfires. Once this is blown up, production switches to multiple locations in the area, uh, the shadow factory of the title, and this is where it gets interesting. The British government, once at war, committed to full-on war, without mercy or conscience. Uh, in this play we see them requisitioning property, specifically a local Audrey business and a country house, with no care for the owners. The central characters are there to give a human face to the story, but not, uh, I suspect, to distract us by tugging at the heartstrings. Even so, the excellent cast do bring them to life, and special mention here for Anita Dobson and David Birrell playing two vivid characters each. A chorus of local people appear regularly and, by the device of singing together, create a strong sense of community in the face of German bombardment and government dictatorship. Sam Hodges' production of The Shadow Factory hits the target, and I give it four stars.